Two people were presumed dead in record flooding in West Virginia. They have actually been found alive. That was amazing news. So it's lowered the death toll since last week. Now the death toll stands at 23. The Nows Todd Walker is in the town of White Sulphur Springs, where the cleanup and rebuilding is just getting underway, as new storms are expected today. The flooding here in West Virginia was so bad and the waters came up so fast that five days later, there are still cars in Howard Creek in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Debris going all up and down the creek here. Stuff like this found miles away from its home. The good news is everyone knows everyone here. The chances are things like this can make it back to its owner. The chances are also pretty good that everyone knows someone who didn't make it. Once you go 500 feet up here, everything's gone. From her front steps, Mallory Smith and her sister Heather have watched as the town they grew up in was torn apart. There's vehicles everywhere. Every five minutes, it was like another foot or so, and I was like, that's too fast. We got to go. Dozens of people in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, and the surrounding communities have died in torrential flooding since last week. It humbles you. It really does. Mallory hasn't had much choice but to sit and watch. I'm literally getting ready to give birth, and I think my hometown she will never remember the house i grew up in she'll never remember any of this she's supposed to have her daughter this afternoon every day i've had dozens of people stop do you need water do you need diapers do you need formula do you need this do you need that and that's what west virginia is about she's watched as her town was torn apart it's really bad there's some homes that are completely gone and as it's come back together. And we've got people that's coming in that lost everything, getting things, and then coming back. Hey, can we volunteer to help you? Teresa Vance has been here since Saturday afternoon. A friend of ours put a message on Facebook, and this is what we got. <laughs> Mountains of clothes, food, and supplies ready for whoever needs it. They don't know when they're going to get their water or their power. A lot of people need it. In the storm, it isn't over yet. It's coming. <laughs> you can feel it. Rain has already started up once again here in White Sulphur Springs. Flash flood warnings throughout the day. Not what they needed at all. This creek is already way too high. Flooding could start immediately as soon as the rain starts as well. In White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, I'm Todd Walker for The Now.